Welcome to the Folks Learn. Today we will learn how to make an alarm clock. First, you need to add a date time picker, a label, and two buttons to form one. Label control shows the status of the timer. Start button allows you to start the timer and stop button allows you to stop the timer. The date time picker control is used to allow the user to select a date and time, and to display that date and time in this specified format. The date time picker control makes it easy to work with dates and times because it handles a lot of the data validation automatically. You need to declare a system timer. It is a server-based timer that raises an elapsed event in your application after the number of milliseconds in the interval property has elapsed. You can configure the timer object to raise the event just once or repeatedly using the auto-reset property. Typically, a timer object is declared at the class level so that it stays in scope as long as it is needed. You can then handle its elapsed event to provide regular processing.
We will use delegate to update the status label control from another thread. If you use multithreading to improve the performance of your Windows Forms applications, you must make sure that you make calls to your controls in a thread safe way. Access to Windows Forms controls is not inherently thread safe. If you have two or more threads manipulating the state of a control, it is possible to force the control into an inconsistent state. Other thread-related bugs are possible, such as race conditions and deadlocks. It is important to make sure that access to your controls is performed in a thread-safe way. It is unsafe to call a control from a thread other than the one that created the control without using the invoke method. Now, we will set time for alarm clock. Thank you for watching this video.